What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color the alien kid from Hello Neighbor 2. Now you wanna to begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw a large oval for the head. So we start right in the middle at the very top. It's gonna to work in the left side, going all the way around. And then we'll just pull that back in toward the center of our page. And then go back up to the top, go all the way around the right side. Now with the head in place, we're gonna move out to the side and draw two ovals for the eyes. Let's start on the top left. Go all the way around, just leaving a gap on the side of the head, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now I'm gonna line up the top of that oval over on the right and do the same thing. I wanna bring that down towards the same height, and go all the way back up towards the top. Let's trace each of the eyes along the inside. Just leave an even space gap all the way around. Now we'll go back and fill the inside of the left eye. Let's add those stitches inside the right eye. Starting with a straight line going across. Step down, draw that again. And I'm just gonna round up the ends. Now we'll add one more stitch going up and down in behind. Let's start with the top, two lines. Extend that down toward the bottom. Round up the top and bottom of that stitch. And we'll fill the outside. Now we're gonna add three large lashes above each eye. We're gonna start right in the middle, start with a curve that goes up, and then that in. Let's add another lash along the inside, with that same curve. And I'll add one shorter one on the outside. Let's move in between the eyes and add in the nose. We're gonna start right in the middle, start with a straight line coming down, just lining up with the bottom edge of the eyes. And we'll up and up toward the left and right. And we'll connect the top to the outside with a straight line. Now from here, I'm gonna place the mouth along the bottom of the head. Let's we'll start underneath the left eye. Start with a curve, coming down the middle, and then back up. And we'll pull this down and then in towards the bottom of the head. Let's add the teeth along the top. Starting in the middle, come down, and then up on the left side, do the same thing on the right. And add two more teeth on either side. It's going a little bit smaller as you go out. And we'll fill the entire area underneath. Now with the head in place, let's move up to the side and add in the ears. We start on the left side, start with a straight angle line going up and out. Let's line this up on the right. Now I want to step down and draw that again. From the outside of the top line, and it up and out. From the bottom line, and it down and out. And we'll close off the outside, connecting the top with a curve. Going out, and then back in. Now we're gonna move up and add in the antennas. Let's start on the left side of the head. Start with a straight angle line going up and out. Just change the direction, going up toward the tip. I'm just gonna trace this back towards the head. Just tapering this down, and then back in. Let's add a circle on the end. 
Let's add another antenna on the right side. We're going to change the shape. We're going to start up here, go up with a straight line, go out, pull it back in, and go up towards the top. Now, just like we did on the left side, we're just going to taper this down to the outside, and then bring that back in. And we'll draw that same size circle on the tip. Now from here we're going to move down and draw on the body. Let's start with the collar, starting right in the center. Start with two straight angle lines coming down and out. And then from the bottom, then this out and then back up underneath the head. Let's add a small button in between the collar with a circle. I'm going to go out to the side, draw two straight lines coming down towards the waist. Let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down and up. Step back up and draw that again. Now before we draw in the rest of the body, we're going to bring the right arm on top. Let's start from the hip with a curve, going up, go all the way around, and then bend that in. From the inside, let's draw the thumb. Just going to bend this in, round up the thumb, and go back out. Let's add three fingers. Come down and in, round up the finger, and pull that back up. Now we're going to stack two more fingers in behind. Start with the curve coming down, and then up. Add one more finger going all the way around, and then up toward the top of the hand. Now we go to the top of the collar, bend the arm going out and then down. Go to the side of the body and draw that same curve. Now from here we're going to draw on the side of the dress. Let's start from the left hip, bend this out, and all the way down towards the bottom. Now we want to line this up on the right side. So start underneath the hand, bend this out, and then down towards the same height. Let's connect the bottom with a wave. Come down. Go across, and then we're going to add some spots inside the dress, these small circles, just in random areas. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath. You need a gap in the center, we'll start on the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up. Now from the outside of the foot, let's curve this up and we'll bend this down, aiming towards the heel. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to bend the leg going out and then up underneath. Let's add the edge of the sock on the top of the leg with a curve. And we'll add a strap across the ankles. So let's start with one curve, step up, and draw that twice. Now you want to add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. So we'll take this curve and just trace that across along the top. And then we'll add a toe cap. Starting from the top of the foot, then it's in and then down. And we'll add in the heel piece, going up and in. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the left arm. Starting from the top of the collar, and then the arm coming down and then out. Let's step in, draw the same curve going in behind the body. Now from the inside of the arm, it's going to bend the cuff going out. And just pull that back in, and then from the inside, come in, and then back out. Let's taper the arm towards the wrist, with two straight lines. And we'll add in the fingers starting with the thumb. Come down, round up the thumb, and go back up. Let's add the first finger, going out and then down. Round of the finger, go up and in. 
and I'll stack two more fingers in behind. Starting on the side, going around and then in. And then the third finger will just pull that up towards the wrist. Now we're gonna draw a simple handbag in behind the arm and body. Let's start underneath that bottom finger, curve this out and then down. Pull it straight in behind the body. Let's go back up to the top, then it's out and up. And then from the bottom, draw that same curve. And we'll close off the outside with a curve. Let's go back up to this top point, draw a straight line coming back in, and we'll add the strap. Going up underneath the hand, step in, draw that again. Now let's go in with a green marker and fill the inside of the head. So we'll go around the eyes and mouth. And we'll use a different green for the left ear. And we'll use that same color across the body. And for the bottom of the dress going around those circles. We'll use a bright red on the left side of the nose, and we'll use a slightly darker red on the right side. Now we'll fill in the right ear with this orange. And we'll using this dark green on the antennas. And once we finish coloring this in, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color the alien kid from Hello Neighbor 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.